story of ex-Detroit rapper Darnell Blade Icewood Lindsay, born on March 14, 1977 in Detroit, Michigan. Blade Icewood is widely known as an ex-Detroit rapper who people refer to as the Jay-Z of Detroit rap music. According to the streets, Blade Icewood is an ex-Detroit rapper who was part of the legendary Detroit rap group known as the Street Lord. According to the streets, Blade Icewood is looked at as the Jay-Z of Detroit rap music with legendary albums such as 2003's Still Spinning, 2004's Stack Master, 2005's Blood, Sweat, and Tears, and also 1999's Street Lord's album, Platinum Rollies, Don't TikTok. But as for the story of Darnell Blade Icewood Lindsay, it starts off in Detroit, Michigan, where he was born and raised. According to the streets, not much is known about Blade's childhood, but it is said he was raised on Detroit's west side in the vicinity of Seven Mile and Evergreen. Also, not much is known about his mother, but when it comes to his dad, Charles Choicey Chuck Lindsay, he is a certified Detroit legend who co-founded the Young Boys Incorporated Street Gang which controlled 80% of the heroin sales in Detroit during the late 70s to the early and mid 1980s. According to the streets, it is said after living in the vicinity of Seven Mile and Evergreen for some years during his childhood, Blade would eventually move to the 10 mile area of Detroit in a suburb called Southfield, where he attended Southfield High School and was able to graduate. According to the streets, while Blade was attending Southfield High School, he would begin rapping in around the years of 1998 or 1999. Blade would make his debut as a rapper in Detroit when he was featured on the Street Lords album, Platinum Rollies Don't TikTok. According to the streets, it is said around this time in Blade's life, he would begin to make a name for himself as a rapper and also a well-known hustler in Detroit who was making a lot of money. According to the streets, around this time in Blade's life, once him and the street lord started making a name for themselves in the local Detroit rap scene, a beef would start between the street lords and a group from Detroit's east side known as the east side cheddar boys. It is said the beef started because the street lords didn't like that the east side cheddar boys was using their name, the cheddar boys. Because according to the street lords, they were the first group in Detroit that was going by that name until they decided to change their name to the street lords. According to the streets, at first, when the beef started, it wasn't too serious between the two groups, but as time went by, the beef would eventually lead to violence, which included shootings and murders. It is said one of the biggest factors that led to the beef becoming violent was when the street lords decided to release their second album called Platinum Masterpiece with the words AKA Cheddar Boys on the cover. And three years later, after the street lords dropped their second album, Blade would release his solo album called Stack Master that came with a DVD. And on the DVD, Blade can be seen discussing the origins of the name Cheddar Boys, which he claimed on the DVD, him and his crew was the first ones to go by that name in Detroit. According to the streets, the beef between the two crews would eventually reach a boiling point after Blade released a song called Boy Would You, and the East Side Cheddar Boys decided to use the same beat from Blade's song and release a diss song called Boss Up and Take Their Money. It is said after the East Side Cheddar Boys decided to release their diss song, Boss Up and Take Their Money, a man named Wipeout, who was the leader of the East Side Cheddar Boys, would be killed on September 18, 2004, while he was standing outside the Candy Bar nightclub in downtown Detroit. According to the streets, two days later on September 20, 2004, after the murder of the East Side Cheddar Boys leader, Wipeout, Blade would have an assassination temp on his life. When two gunmen came to his house in Oak Park, Michigan, and shot Blade seven times with an AK-47, which resulted in him being paralyzed from the waist down. According to the streets, after being in the hospital for some time and recovering from the attempt on his life, Blade would hit the studio to record a new album, and while he was recording his album, he would record a song called Ride On Me, where he raps about the attempt on his life and also dissing the enemies in the song. It is said till this day, People believe from this song, Blade knew exactly who was the people who tried to kill him. But as for Blade's music career, it would eventually come to an end on April 19, 2005, when Blade was shot and killed on West 7 Mile and Foul Street while he was sitting inside of his Range Rover outside of a car wash. It is said on this day, a gunman will walk up to the passenger side of his Range Rover and fire 17 rounds into his truck, which resulted in his death. It is said months later after the murder of Blade Icewood, a man named Larry, Little Larry Davidson, would be picked up by police and charged with Blade's murder. And on April 6, 2006, he would be found guilty and sentenced to life in prison. 
Thank y'all for watching my video, and God bless.